Week one is in the books. Let's talk about week two. Hey guys, David Ward here. NFL football is back, and week one had some surprises for us. Didn't see some of those games playing out the way they did. Let's jump right into week two. All right, and for the Thursday night game, I'm going to go Cincinnati over the Browns. Cincinnati played a much better game. They probably should have won that game against the Chargers. They just had some unfortunate luck in their kicking game. But I pick them over the Browns on the road. Jacksonville versus Tennessee. Jacksonville pulled off a great week one victory against the Colts. They kept fighting, and they were able to pull off the victory. Tennessee did the same thing, able to pull off the victory against Denver on the road. I'm going to go with Tennessee over Jacksonville, but expect this one to be close. Carolina versus Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay had a rough week one. Tom Brady threw two interceptions, one of which was a pick six. Carolina, they had a controversial fourth and one decision when they decided to give it to their fullback instead of Christian McCaffrey. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay at home. Denver versus Pittsburgh. Denver had a defensive struggle against Tennessee, while Pittsburgh was able to take care of business on the road against the Giants. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh with this one. Ben Roethlisberger is back, and that defense is as good as it was last year. Rams are traveling to Philadelphia. Philadelphia blew a 17-0 lead against Washington, and their offensive line could not protect Carson Wentz. While the Rams are able to pull off the Sunday night victory against Dallas, I'm going to go with the Rams on this one. I think the defense gets after Carson Wentz, and Jared Goff has a pretty good game. San Francisco versus the Jets. Jets really struggled against Buffalo. They could not do much against that defense, and San Francisco had a tough loss against the Cardinals. They could not stop Kyler Murray when he started moving his legs. I'm going to go with San Francisco over the Jets. Buffalo's traveling to Miami. Ryan Fitzpatrick had a tough game against the Patriots. He threw three interceptions, and if that doesn't happen, Miami could have pulled off the victory. While Buffalo, they had a great game against the Jets, especially Josh Allen, who's showing that he is Buffalo's future. And I'm going to go with the Bills over Miami. Minnesota's traveling to Indianapolis. Indianapolis had a hard fart game against the Jaguars, but they could not pull out the victory. While Minnesota, Aaron Rodgers torched their defense. I'm going to go with Minnesota over Indianapolis. It's just a gut feeling. Detroit traveling to Green Bay. Detroit blew a 17-point lead in the fourth quarter against the Bears. While the Packers took care of business on the road against the Vikings, I'm going with the Packers at home. Atlanta's traveling to Dallas. Atlanta lost at home to the Seahawks. While Dallas, they lost the Sunday night game against the Rams. I'm going to go with Dallas at home over Atlanta. Giants are traveling to Chicago. Giants are on a short week, and against Pittsburgh, they could not protect Daniel Jones and open up running lanes for Saquon Barkley, while Chicago, Mitchell Trubisky pulled off a 17-point comeback in the fourth quarter against the Lions, and I'm going to go with Trubisky and the Bears at home. Washington traveling to Arizona. Arizona pulling out the stunner against the 49ers. Kyler Murray was running all over them, and the Washington football team, Able to come back from a 17-0 deficit and beat the Eagles. Not to mention sacking Carson Wentz eight times. I'm going to go with Arizona on this one because that front four is going to have a tough time trying to chase down Kyler Murray. Chiefs are traveling to the Chargers. Chargers, they squeezed out a victory against the Bengals while the Chiefs showed why they were the Super Bowl champions last year against Houston. And I'm going to go with them over their division rival. Baltimore's traveling to Houston. Houston is going to have 10 days of rest but they struggled mightily against the Chiefs and Baltimore. Lamar Jackson picked off right where he left off. Had a great game against the Browns. I'm going with Baltimore on the road. New England's traveling to Seattle. Seattle, they're not going to have that home field advantage because there are going to be no fans in the stadium. While New England, Cam Newton had a great game. Rushed for two touchdowns and showed he still has it. But I'm going to go with Seattle over the Patriots. And the Monday night game is the Saints traveling to the Raiders. The Raiders had a great victory against the Panthers. Every time the Panthers scored, the Raiders answered them back and they were able to stop them late in the game. While the Saints were able to beat Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. I'm going to go with the Saints over the Raiders. Alright guys, those were my picks for week two. And I'll see you next time.